Hey everyone, this is Yop coming to you from the uh, Ball Shack. Um, still don't have my shop completely set up. I'm still waiting for some of the built-in furniture and stuff, so I'm having to do my work out here at the moment. Uh, I wanted to do a short video because I've had several questions on the Yopsicle, uh, the original version, uh, the original version versus the new version. So I kind of wanted to go over some of that, show how I install uh, the Yopsicles. Uh, so we're going to be installing the version that I just got in, which is the second version that has the uh, resistor already installed. So it's ready to go out of the box, even if you just have an original uh, Bally board, which in the case of this machine, this is a machine that I restored three or four years ago, I've, uh, longer than that, maybe five years. I just started. Anyway, when I did the play field, I removed all the original inserts that were cupped and I replaced them all with clear inserts and then just put colored bulbs, uh, colored LEDs actually under underneath to, I could change colors if I wanted to. It was something I was trying out. I don't really do it anymore, but it was, I was in a phase. Uh, but we are going to take all of these out and I'm gonna show you kind of one or two how I solder them and then we will look at uh, the final product from underneath the deck and uh, on top of the deck. Uh, also, this particular machine not only has an original board in it, but it also has the those adapter boards that you stick on the uh, on the lamp driver board so you can drive LEDs, and that's what I use to drive these LEDs. About, uh, I don't know, 10% of the sockets since I did this obviously have failed um, for the, uh, for the, the the ones that are connected to the lamp driver board. And uh, so it's gonna be nice to put the obstacle uh, version two. By the way, the, the version one was the one that had the two extra uh, through holes so that you could modify that, uh, that particular stick, whatever you wanted. The, this new one, uh, the, the first one I was calling the mod one, uh, this new one, which uh, the version two I'm calling the omnibus, should be ready to go out of the box here uh, or in a stern uh, with no changes uh, to the hardware, even if you have an original hardware. It also should work with an adapter in place or the new LED board, same, doesn't matter if uh, that uh, resistor is in place. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how I install them so you can kind of see how that works. Uh, but before we do that, I, we just got uh, the first prototypes of a new product that I'm working on. So before we do this, I'm going to do a short, very short uh, presentation of what we've got in store for you guys. Uh, so we're going to take it over to the desk and I will show you that now. Okay, here's the quick reveal that I wanted to show everybody. This is, these just arrived today. They're, they're not ready uh, to be released yet but I wired them all up so we can get a good look at everything at once. Um, and hell, I'll just turn it on. <laughs> there it is. Uh, also, one of my LEDs is not working. So we have blue, orange, well, I'm sorry, yellow, orange, green, red, and purple. Um, purple is not as bright. All these are the same. They have the same specs. I don't know why purple's not as bright, um, but it's not. Anyway, um, these are going to be called the Spectrum line of Yopsicles. So um, I'm going to be also installing some of these in the Power Play and they will be available after I've tested them and all that. I'll have to order more. I I did these on one board just so I could run some tests on them and make sure they're going to be okay. Anyway, that's the reveal. That's the new Yopsicle sticks that are coming, the Spectrum line. Okay, hopefully I have a good uh, angle here where you can kind of see. I'm going to be working. We're going to do these two inserts. I'm going to knock two of them out. Uh, First thing I normally do though, I'll go ahead and take my screws out of the area I'm working in. Sometimes you'll have to melt the solder a little bit. I've already got a hot iron over here. Uh, but the first thing I'll do is I will pre, 
solder the the negative end of the of the stick okay the other thing I'll do is you see these black dots that corresponds with where the LED is on the other side so it kind of helps me line up now the future ones are gonna have the, a little square, like a reticle pattern, that's gonna be screen printed on the back. Also, each color is screen printed on the back. So you can see this is, well, you probably can't see it's not close enough, but that's a blue, that's a yellow, and that's a green that I've already put into place. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a couple of these. So once again, I've already got the screws out. I've already got one side. Now, I don't pre-solder this side because I've gotta slide it under under the wire once I get that one out, okay? So what we're gonna do is take our hot iron. Now, I am not a solder expert, okay? I'm just gonna go ahead and get that out of the way because you're gonna watch me solder and say, ooh, he's not good, and you are gonna be correct. All right, so we got our, we got our original out. Discard that. So now I'm going to take this one and sometimes if there's a lot of solder on this wire here, your, your braided wire, what I'll do is just kind of heat it up and melt all of the plastic around it. So you notice I've got that, oh, that smells delicious. Um, I've got that dot pretty much lined up and of course it's, these things solder so fast, it's trying to stick to that pad already. I've got that close enough. So I will grab my screw. And screw that in. Kind of keep it from turning. All right, that's screwed in. So I've got my control wire. I do not like to take 10 of them off at a time because then I'm guessing where the, uh, where the control wire goes. So I prefer to just kind of do one at a time. One or two at a time. All right, so I've got that now on the back side. Get our solder. And the nice thing about these pads is that unlike trying to unlike trying to solder to a uh, so that's soldered one of those really one of these really thick sockets it takes so long to heat this up to get the socket to uh, you know for it to take solder whereas these pads do it really quick. So that is soldered in place. And actually it's soldered on this side already. I'm gonna heat that up one more time on the other side. It ended up, I don't know if I ever got it soldered on the other side. Like I say, I am not, I'm not great at soldering. We're gonna go back and hit that. A friend of mine makes fun of me he did this stuff in the Navy and he's like, you know, not, it's not the bigger the blob, the better the job or something like that anyway. But for me, the bigger the blob, the better the job. All right, so I've got that soldered in. I'm gonna move down to my next one. Desolder. And hopefully if one of you out there is really uh, good at soldering, you can uh, give me some pointers. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. All right, got that one out. And we'll grab another one of our sticks. This one's in a little bit easier position. That other one was pretty, was like kind of between two, uh, it was between two staples and it was the braided wire was a little bit tight. But once you get going, So I'm lining my dot up at the center of the uh, insert. All right, that's locked down. Hopefully that didn't knock the camera out of view here. Nope, we're still good. All right. 
And I really kind of need to get some, a little bit thicker solder, um, soldering wire for, for this. Uh, I'm gonna put a little more here. Trying to get that wire hot as well. That one is definitely good. So I just kind of wanted to show you a couple uh, and kind of how quick they are to change out. Like I say, once you're going, they just start kind of, you know, rolling on through. Now, I want to also show you a couple of spots since I've already put a few in, some of these, some of these colors. Um, you can also, let me take the camera out of the holster here. You can also get creative with when you're gonna add lights to other spots. So take for instance, uh, well, let me see if I can, oh, let me zoom out, that's the problem. Um, so, for instance, one of these lights, it, the, the hole is, the mounting hole is too far back, but it will work. I did, I did it in a uh, skate bowl and it worked just fine. You just have to move it up a little closer and you'll make a new small mounting hole. And you, depending on where the braided wire sits, you may have to make a small jumper wire to jump over. Uh, same thing I did for, you see this under here? So I put a little bit of, sticky pad right here to get it up off of the play field. Um, and this is to light the, the center post that goes up and down. So just make sure it's not blocking the center post in any way, but I put one on both sides uh, of this as well. And it works fine. Um, I've already, uh, I, after I did this, I flipped it over to make sure it lights it okay, etc. So I'm gonna do these up here I'm gonna do these down here. I don't think I'm gonna mess with these tonight, but we'll take a look and see what these, uh, the V, the bonus scoring here looks like and the upper saucer value. We'll also have the colors here. I've already put the colors in there. I'm gonna add a red over here and here. We'll flip it over, take a look at it, uh, see what you guys think. And we got a couple of last shots of video here. Um, so I did everything but, well these are actually hooked into GI so they don't matter. I, I did not do these three and I didn't do those three. I didn't have time to jump or them in tonight and I didn't do that one, that was GI as well. So everything else is done. These are the red LEDs and there is your yellow, another red. You got green, yellow, blue, orange red there's the that's the warm white which my warm whites are a little bit on the cooler side i like a little more brightness same here these are the warm whites let's take a look from the bottom of the deck you can see there they're all in place and soldered to the best of my ability and keep this in mind if i can solder them well enough to make them work certainly you guys can um now the here's the thing these are all currently running with the LED adapter in place. So I'm going to, this is the moment of truth, I'm going to remove the LED adapter and I expect these may flicker, but I hope none of these do. Oh, by the way, there's purple. I forgot, we got a purple one in there too. Purple's just not as bright, I don't know. Uh, so I'm gonna pull the, uh, I'm gonna pull that, I'm gonna open it up, we'll take a look and we'll pull those um, adapter boards out, hang tight. Okay, we have our adapter boards out there. We're gonna turn this thing on and see what we get. We're just running a straight old original pallet. And currently, those appear to be fine. And I'm gonna do a all. 
So, all right, so we do have some flickering, but guess what? It's none of these. These are flickering, same here. These I didn't mess with yet. Um, I gotta figure that out. Uh, but everything that is the new Yopsicle Omnibus stick uh, is steady. So I think we can call this a success at least. Uh, same reds on the side, those are great. Oh, I did add the two sticks down here for the center post and they are not flickering either. So I'll go back and do my jumper wires later, but this was all just to prove to myself, basically, that it will work. These bulbs will work. I say bulb sticks will work either with an original board or an adapted board or a new LED driver board. I really appreciate you guys following along tonight. Um, and even more so, I appreciate all of the support everybody's given me. I cannot keep, especially the warm white. I mean, as soon as I get them in stock, you guys are just buying them all up. Um, and hopefully, eventually I'll have the final, I keep doing little changes, but once I get it into a final version and they don't consider it a prototype, uh, I'll be able to order larger sums at a time. So uh, I appreciate your continued patience as well. We will get there. Um, thanks a lot. And there's more products to come. I've got other stuff I'm working on. I can't wait to show you guys. Uh, so stay tuned. Thanks, bye.